all you lovely people, this is Venetia back with Venetia's World and for this video I will be doing my empties. In case you guys don't know what empties are, let me tell you. So, skincare empties are uh, basically all the products that I've emptied in this quarantine and if I'll be buying them again or not. So, the first step for skincare is cleansing, of course. And for cleansing, you need a face wash. The face wash that I was using is a Vico Turmeric Foam Based Face Wash. It looks tiny, but let me tell you, this lasted me for a whole two months. Yes. And I used to use it, like, twice every day. And you take, like, just a pea-sized amount in your palm, and it go a little goes a long way. And I really liked this product because um, it was very, very, very cleansing. And notice that it used to give me a very bright look right after you use it. But the only reason why I won't be buying this again is, one, because it had this very, very pungent smell. Okay, I won't really call it a pungent smell, but it was like a fume that was uh, very, um, I don't know, how do you um, explain the fume of it, but yeah, it was bad. Let's just call it bad. I'll just stick to bad. Okay, it was bad. It was almost like, uh, it smelled like uh, the acids that you had in your lap. Yes, that was the smell, okay? And... That is the reason I didn't like it. But not just that. Another reason why I won't be buying that is because I found like a better replacement. And this is the Mama Earth's Charcoal and Coffee Face Wash. I use it every day twice. And oh my god, the results are fantastic. Okay, because I am someone who has extremely oily skin. And this helps me in the sebum control. And it actually keeps your skin... Um, dry for a really long time it won't get greasy and oily like right after you use it so yes that is a better replacement but uh, one thing is that i won't be buying this again is because it costs for almost i guess two it's 249 and i am really not someone who's going to invest so much in a face wash for the moment that is and for that i have my regular face wash that is the himalayas uh, neem face wash i guess everyone has that in their face and in case you guys don't and if you have oily skin then that is going to be your best friend throughout okay because that is a face wash that i stick by I still remember I was never someone who uh, used face wash a lot like especially in my teens I used to buy clean and clear I guess everyone has gone through that clean and clear phase in their life where, where they use clean and clear face washes and what I used to do is I used to buy the color that I that was my favorite okay I used to buy, buy the blue ones the pink ones okay and uh, that was not because at that time I didn't even know what my skin type was and skincare was one of my least concerns back then but now that I have realized the importance of it I know what to do with my skin and these are the face washes that I prefer the next comes scrubbing or exfoliating in case you guys are using a physical exfoliator then I'll prefer using the Himalayas purifying neem scrub I have almost completed it and I liked it so much that I bought a new one again and it's there in my uh, washroom and this this scrub oh my god it's not too coarse okay it's gonna be like really gentle on your skin and if you're someone who likes to use a physical exfoliator instead of a chemical exfoliator then this should be your go-to option because always avoid using the rough and big granulated scrubs and uh, also using this one has another pro to it and that is uh, it comes in a very cream base and once you like use it on your skin it'll be very creamy and it won't dry out your skin and also it'll prevent it from like tearing apart uh, like tearing your skin apart because it's very creamy okay so you just gently massage it in your skin and it works fine so about this will i be buying it again yes i have actually already brought it so yeah that was it now coming to the third part a toner i was using khadi's gold rose water toner 
okay which is basically like a herbal skin toner and i guess i have told you in my previous videos that how much i really liked this product and yes i did kadi is an amazing product if you're looking for some herbal and ayurvedic uh skin treatment products then you should always go for kadi it is like one of the most budget friendly uh skincare products that you will get are like absolutely herbal and very 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 good for your skin so this company is one of them and i used their rose water toner and i was liking it i was actually liking it a lot but the only reason that i won't be buying it again is because i felt that this is not exactly working as a toner for me like it is acting as a rose water for my skin even though rose water is a toner but i needed something that has like more Mm, ingredients of making it a toner i don't know if that is making any sense to you or not but um i wanted like a proper toner and not just like a rose water toner or a green tea based toner i wanted like a proper toner and also i won't be buying this again but if i want a rose water then i'll definitely be buying this but my replacement for the mm, khadi herbal rose water toner is Kaya's acne free, uh, acne free purifying water, a uh, purifying toner. Sorry, and this is amazing. Like I was always a very big fan of Kaya, and even though uh, I was very 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 confused while I was buying a toner, but I went with this one because it's budget friendly and it's not like super expensive. Also, it's a acne. free purifying toner and if you have watched my previous videos then you'll know how acne prone and oily my skin is so this is like so good for my skin and my skin loves this product so yes this is the one so after face wash exfoliating and tone uh, and using a toner next comes is a moisturizer and that is i use um the plums Uh, renew, uh renewed clarity night gel even though it's a night gel i sometimes use it as a moisturizer but it's like very rarely only on days when i feel like you know my skin needs a bit of hydration i use it then even though it's a night gel but i use it in the daytime if and when my skin needs a bit of hydration and uh it's not yet complete it's been almost a month of been using this and it's not yet complete so i don't really think it falls under an empty but if it was empty then yes i would be buying it again like no doubt about that uh getting back to the routine the next comes is masking okay so for masking i have like a lot of masks here and i'd like to start with my the body cares honey and lemon face pack and it is almost complete i loved this product this product worked like crazy for me it was actually mainly for clearing my skin and for making it more bright and uh, because i always had a very dull skin and this actually helped my skin to you know get back to life and i'm going to buy this again for sure also because it's super budget friendly this uh, comes for um how much was it um where is it oh yeah it comes for 55 rupees okay and it's got like a lot of product and you just need a very small bit of this mask and it spreads you uh, spreads its way through your skin so yes for sure i will be buying this product the next mask that i have is the biotics bio fruit uh deep pigmentation and tan removal face pack which is for all skin types and i bought this because i was seeing a lot of people on youtube and vloggers are uh, reviewing about this product and how much they love this product and i have never been a fan of biotic but i did use this product for the first time it worked really good Also in case you guys don't know most of these products are actually under 100 and if you guys uh, haven't watched out my Nykaa under 100 please do watch out that video which uh, which includes makeup and skincare products which are all under 100 and I'll make sure to link it down in the description box below 
So getting back to this mask, it's almost done and um, I didn't use it though, like I did use it. And also, also, also another thing, uh, it requires like you need a lot of product for one application and I guess I used it like thrice or like four times and it's like almost empty. This mask, for the first time when I used it, it did work. It removed my tan like slightly like there was very it barely it removed my tan but it was still like a tad bit noticeable the second time I used it my skin really didn't like it I don't know why but it was almost itchy I won't call it like a tingling sensation but it, it was almost itchy and I had washed my face and it was normal it was not red or anything but I have people who have used this mask and they hated it. That is, the first person is my mom. She used this mask and her skin again turned very itchy. She got red bumps all over her face and it did not suit her at all. Even though it says it's for all skin types, it is not, okay? Another friend of mine used it and she complained that this was actually burning her skin and once she washed it off, she her face was red for almost two hours. So yeah, this product can be scary. And I believe a lot of products from Biote can be pretty dangerous because I have experienced a few instances in my life and people who are like close to me and they didn't like this product or the brand. But of course, like, Biody does have a few good products that suit me and so yeah but about this product will I be buying it again never uh, getting back to another mask I have the beauty cause glow mask I guess if you are following me on insta you must have seen me peeling off these masks and giving a lot of pictures uh, with this mask because the only reason that I do that is because I love this mask and I always apply it when I'm like super choppy and I'm having like a really good day so those are the days that I use this mask because it's super glittery and super pretty. And about its use, is it good for your skin? Oh yes, it is. Even though it's a peel-off mask and people do say that peel-off masks don't always do the work, but it did the work for me. It made my skin really clear, okay? And will I be buying this again? I will be buying this again. Also, it's got charcoal, so why not? And also, it's got like, uh, it has like beauty company has a lot of uh, glitter masks of a lot of colors maybe i'll be going for the blue one next who knows so yes will i be buying this again yes 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 the next product that i have is the mama earth c3 face mask and i guess it's almost complete i had used it like last week oh yeah it's complete oh, yeah and Will I be buying this again? I won't even get into the details of this because I have made a video, like in my previous videos, I have mentioned this product and I have mentioned how crazy I was about this mask and yes, I will definitely be buying this again because why not? I've got oily skin and acne prone skin and it's got charcoal, coffee, clay, all the best things to put on your skin if you have that skin type and I will definitely be buying this again. So I guess that is all for, oh no, 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 I have a few more. This is not exactly like a skincare product, but I guess um, it falls somewhere in between makeup and skincare. And that is the uh, Insights Dip and Go uh, Nail Polish Remover. Okay, so in case you guys don't know what that is, uh, these are like little tubs filled with sponge, uh, filled with a sponge and a lot of uh, acetone uh, or makeup remover, uh, not makeup remover, nail polish remover and uh, you just have to dip your nail, twist it and voila, you have no nail polish on your nails. And did this product work for me? It did, it did, like it's way faster, way more convenient than bringing a cotton and bringing your nail polish remover and then rubbing it off. No, you just put 
dig your nail in, twist it, and it's done. But one problem is that it does not remove glitter polish. Like, I did try removing glitter polish. It did come off. I won't say it didn't, but it takes a lot of time. So, yeah, other than that, this product is absolutely great. And it's, like, really cheap as well. It's 70. It's just 70, okay? I guess color bar and uh, faces and, Nike, uh, and Masaba has the same thing where they are, like, way costlier than this those are for like 200 and 300 bucks and this is only for 70 so i will definitely be buying this again and the last product is not exactly a skin care but more of a hair care and that is the plantains pro v open hair miracle and i have been someone who has been hating pantene ever since my entire life and uh, the only reason that I went with this product is because everyone was obsessing over it, like on YouTube, on Instagram. And I was like, okay, fine, let's give it a try. And it's not that expensive also. It's just for um, 90 rupees, okay? It's like 80 RL for 90. That's pretty budget friendly. So I went with this. In case you guys don't know what this is, this is like a 4-in-1 uh, thingy, okay? It works as a oil replacement, a serum, a conditioner, and a heat protectant, okay? So basically, what you have to do is, uh, before shampooing, you have to apply it for 30 minutes, and it almost acts like an oil. Also, it can act like a serum right after your shower. It can act as a normal conditioner, and it can also act as a heat protectant. That is, you just take like a coin sized bit in your palms, apply it on your entire head, and then you can blow dry it, you can straighten it, you can use curling rods, you can do anything with them. Okay, and this smells heavenly. It's gonna leave a beautiful fragrance on your hair. And not just that, it actually does its job. I don't know about the heat protectant part because I still have no idea if heat protectants are actually working on my hair. But as a serum, yes, 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 it definitely does work. It makes your hair really soft. I won't say that it gives you a shine, but it surely does deeply condition your hair. It makes it very soft and very silky. And the one that I was previously using is the L'Oreal's um, Serum, Hair Serum. It is purple in color and I really don't know what it's called, but that was great. That was working really good on my skin, uh, on my hair. And if I'm not wrong, it costed something around 600 so yeah that was basically like a hair protectant serum kind of a thingy and i will definitely be choosing this over that as uh, the only reason is because of the price it gives like the same job but in a very very, very lesser budget it's like 690 so yeah and that was all for my empties video it was supposed to be a skincare empty but i included Two other products as well and I hope you guys like it. If you know what to do, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, share it with your friends. And in case you guys are not following me on Instagram, please do. My Insta ID is World of Tunisia. And till the next time, stay safe, tools, spread love.